Hi, and welcome to a quick overview of the new industrial graphics editor in Aviva Edge 2020. As we get started, I, th I thought it would be beneficial to show our concept of uh, edge to enterprise, where the different products fit together within the Aviva monitoring and control uh, uh, portfolio. So here you have a uh, kind of the asset location, whether that's uh, manufacturing, whether that's an infrastructure application, utilities, et cetera, it doesn't have to be a manufacturing application. You might find Aviva Edge uh, or several of the other products, uh, HMI type products within the uh, Aviva portfolio. As we move up into the control room, you might find uh, Aviva System Platform. And uh, then once you get into the cloud and talk about global or maybe even a campus size uh, uh, project, you'll find things like Integration Studio and Aviva Insight uh, for data analytics. So uh, just to kind of understand how all of these fit together. And now why is that important for you to understand that? Because as we talk about industrial graphics and sharing uh, industrial graphics across all of these different products, uh, it, it becomes very apparent and why and, and, and how easy this is, why you'd want to do that so that you could have consistent user interface and make your operations and maintenance staff uh, more efficient and understand everything where, where those things are at. What we're talking about here with the Aviva Edge 2020 of, is we've got the development environment and then uh, you can deploy to different runtimes. And the runtime that we're talking about for this first iteration of uh, industrial graphics, and by the way, if I didn't mention this before, industrial graphics were formerly known as orchestra graphics. Uh, we're, we're deploying those first in Aviva Edge SCADA, meaning the Windows desktop and server runtime environments. Uh, even though you can develop your project once and deploy anywhere, uh, uh, industrial graphics are being first deployed on the Aviva Edge SCADA runtime. And as we move to this next slide, you'll see here again the Aviva Edge SCADA runtime is the target for this, but we can also deploy uh, industrial graphics on mobile access thin clients, giving your, your operations uh, uh, and maintenance staff uh, the ability to be more efficient. So no matter where they're at uh, in the facility or literally out in the field sometimes, being able to open up a phone or a tablet uh, and just uh, be able to open up a browser and be able to view and interact with those those screens uh, remotely. Now, here you can see this slide with the different bullet points on it about industrial graphics. Now, this gives you some of the ideas of the feature set and the consistency across the portfolio of products that we have. Um, but I'm going to talk about Again, kind of the, some of the benefits that you're, you'll receive uh, by using industrial graphics. And, and the idea of reduced development time, being able to share uh, industrial graphics between the different portfolio products uh, from Aviva. Now, this will allow you to, again, keep that consistent look and feel of a common user interface so that uh, no matter where your staff happens to be, whether they're out at the asset level, whether they're in their, in their control room, or whether they're looking at these uh, projects on the cloud, uh, you'll have that, again, that consistent look and feel. And again, this works with uh, mobile access. So depending on where your operation and maintenance staff happen to be, that'll keep them more efficient. Let me switch over to the development environment here. Now that I'm in the development environment, you'll be able to see that uh, I've got this ability to uh, use industrial graphics in addition to the native editor uh, within Aviva Edge. Now here we've got a couple of options. I can create a new symbol. In this case, if I do this, it'll open up the industrial graphics editor. And maybe I'll just put a couple of objects on here, make kind of my own symbol. Um, nothing fancy in this case, just for sake of time, but I could make a very elaborate um, uh, object or set of objects and, and uh, save that off as a symbol. In this case, I'm just going to do a, a quick square and a, a circle there. Uh, but I also have the ability to import graphics or libraries. Now here we have uh, two different libraries that we install when we install Aviva Edge 2020. We've got the Industrial Graphics Library as well as the Situational Awareness Graphics Library. But you also have the ability to bring in a custom file. Now that would be an AAPKG if you export that from whether it's InTouch or System Platform or other products within the Aviva portfolio, you'll be able to bring those in as you export those from the different products. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show an import here of this whole library. Now, we again, we install these, but we don't uh, import them into your project. So here I'm going to do this uh, uh, industrial graphics library and start this going. 
And as this starts to load in here, okay, there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording and wait until this is just about finished to, to come on back in. All right, as we're wrapping up the import here, uh, you'll see that uh, the progress bar will reach the end. And then shortly after that, we'll get finished down here in the bottom. There we go. There's the finished and we get the close icon so we can go ahead and close that up. So now you can see that symbol that I previously created. We also have the industrial graphics library in our project. And if I go create a screen here, instead of inserting a native screen, I'm going to insert the industrial graphics screen or an industrial graphics screen. And here I'll click on OK just to keep the default screen attributes. And this will again open up that uh, uh, industrial graphics editor. And at this point, I can choose to build my own screens in um, uh, using whatever objects that I want here. Uh, or I have the ability to import from either the uh, uh, graphics that I brought in earlier. So here you can see I can bring in that symbol that I created earlier. Uh, or I have the ability to use a library. So let's, let's bring this symbol in and I can just drop that on the screen and uh, or I can bring in um, some industrial graphics. So for example here I could bring in uh, different sliders and uh, make copies of those. Let's expand this out here and uh, yeah, or I could even go you know grab things like the uh, uh, some tanks and things of that nature, some vessels and uh, put those on the screen. So again you can see how uh, we can create some very nice looking graphics quickly uh, and again that consistent look and feel across all the different products within the Aviva Edge portfolio. Uh, be able to get those uh, going quite nicely. Now another thing to point out in addition to running on the Windows Skater runtime, I mentioned this, that these will also work on the mobile access clients as well. So you will need uh, Microsoft IIS installed and it's preferable to do that before you install Aviva Edge 2020. Uh, but then you'll have that ability to uh, be efficient and, and uh, use these screens uh, and graphics across all the different platforms. So uh, I highly suggest that you contact your Aviva distributor and get more information on Aviva Edge and industrial graphics. Download the evaluation, just Google uh, Aviva Edge 2020 and uh, again download that free evaluation copy and then if you're watching this on youtube uh, please uh, click on like uh, subscribe and even possibly leave a comment let us know uh, what you're interested in or uh, if you have any feedback on industrial graphics and aviva edge 2020 thanks and have a great day